Usable opacity is a very common video editing technique. It can be seen in this example where we can see papyrus being applied while the main character is talking in the background, or in movies where opacity can be used to show beautifully moments progressing. So to locate opacity in DaVinci Resolve, all we need to do is to go to the inspector panel of an active video clip, and we can locate opacity under the composite section. Now, as you can see, opacity is actually a slider that can go from zero to 100%, and it is used to control the level of transparency of a video clip. So in this video clip I have, which shows the subway train going by, and which I will also be using to do the demonstration, now, if we start go ahead and bring the opacity level down to zero, you will see that at zero percent opacity, this video is fully transparent. And all we are seeing is just the default black background. And now if we start to bring the opacity back up to 100%, you will see that it will start to become more visible. And eventually at 100% opacity, the video is fully visible to us on the screen. Now, I'm also going to bring in another video to help us better understand opacity. So, as you can see that when I drop a second video on top of the first one, now all we can see is just the second video. And the reason is because by default, the second video is at 100% opacity. So now if we start to go ahead and bring the opacity level down, you will start to see uh, the first video much better. And eventually, at 0% opacity, we're only seeing the first video, the video that's underneath. And we're not seeing the second video at all. And the opposite will happen as we start to bring the opacity back up. You will see the second video much better and eventually all we're seeing is just the second video. And we're not seeing the first video that's underneath it at all. So that's pretty much opacity in a nutshell. And next we're gonna look at some of the cool effects we can create using opacity. So for our first example, the first thing we're gonna do is to bring another video into our timeline. We're just gonna simply drop the second video on top of our first video. And then the first thing we're gonna do is to bring the opacity all the way down to zero for our second video. And then about a second later, we're gonna start to bring the opacity back up, but not all the way to 100%. I'm gonna try to shoot for somewhere between 40 to 50% so that it's half transparent, so that we can still see the video that's underneath it. And then we're gonna let this go on for a couple more seconds. And then about a second later, we're just gonna let this fade away completely. So now at this point, we're only seeing our main video. So now if we go ahead and start playing this video, you will see that this effect really resembles the one that we saw earlier in the SNL skit where you know it, it, you can see another video playing uh, at the same time uh, but without it completely overshadowing the main video that is playing in the background. Now to take this effect to the next level we can give it some more movement and to do that the first thing we're going to do is to turn on transform and then we're just going to zoom in on our second video a little bit and then at this point, we're going to start to move our second video towards the top left corner there. And then the idea is that as this video starts to show up and then disappear at the end, we're going to make this move, uh, make our second video to go uh, in a, a diagonal line towards the bottom right corner. So at the very end there, as it starts to disappear, we're going to bring our second video towards the bottom uh, right corner. So that looks about right, that looks good. And then at this point, we can just turn off transform. And let's go ahead and have a look at the effect. So now you will see that the effect itself, it will look very similar to what we did earlier, but now it looks like as the second video starts to, uh, starts to appear, the camera is moving from right to left. So it's just giving a little bit more movement. This is optional and you can execute this also differently. But the idea is just to make it a little bit more vivid, a little bit more interesting. All right, lastly, we're gonna walk through another example, which is a little bit more complicated than the example that we did earlier. So to do it, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is to bring a second video into the timeline. And then uh, afterwards, we're gonna bring another video uh, on top of our second video. 
And then we're gonna wrap up by bringing another video on top there. So in total, now we have four videos in our timeline. The first thing I'm gonna do is just focus on our second video here. And we're gonna start to bring the opacity down to zero. And this is gonna be very, uh, gonna be very similar to what you uh, saw earlier uh, already. Uh, you know, we're, a couple seconds later, we're gonna bring the opacity uh, you know, up to about 40, 50%. And then we're gonna make it go on for a couple more seconds. And then eventually we're just gonna make this uh, go away completely uh, seconds later. So this is again, very similar to what we saw earlier before. Okay, so now let's get started on our third video there. So the idea for the third video is to make it start to appear uh, much later than our second video. So. Okay, so at this point, it looks it looks about right. So we want to make it start to appear a little bit later than our second video. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and set our keyframe, and then uh, about a few seconds later, uh, as our second video starts to disappear, we want to bring our video the vi the opacity back up uh, for uh, a little bit more for our third video, and then eventually. Uh, it's just gonna be our third video. So a few seconds later, I'm gonna bring the opacity all the way up to 100%. So at this point, we're just gonna make our third video the only video that we see uh, on our screen. So if we go ahead and take a quick preview, you will see that at some point, we're seeing all three videos at the same time. But eventually, the third video uh, will take over and that will be the only video that we see. All right, let's get started on our fourth one. Now the idea for our fourth video is to make it appear much, much later. We want actually this video to appear almost at the time when our third video uh, becomes uh, much, much more visible. So we're gonna move, yeah, so I think at this point, it, it looks it looks good. It less looks like a good starting point for us. So we're gonna go ahead and set our keyframe there. And then the idea is a few seconds later, uh, we're gonna make uh, actually this video, our fourth video, the video that we'll see on the screen. So if we go ahead and bring the opacity back up 100% and have a quick look, at the effect, you will see that, yeah, at some point we see all three effects. And then as the third one starts to take over, the fourth one will uh, starts to appear slowly actually in the background. And eventually our fourth one will completely take over and it will be the only video that we see on the screen. This looks very much like the example that we saw before in the accountant. So as you see here, yeah, this looks, it's, it's, yes, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's a very, very cool effect to do nonetheless. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next time.